An electrician was shot in the face and doused in acid, in revenge for an alleged rape, a court has heard as his murderers were jailed. Liam Smith, a father of two, was lured outside his home and killed, in a, brutal and cold-blooded murder, in Wigan, on November 24 last year. Rachel Fusto, 37, from York, and Michael Hillier, 39, from Sheffield, were given life sentences on Thursday, after a trial at Manchester's Minshew Street Crown Court. Fusto, who started seeing Hillier in 2021, had previously been on a date with Mr. Smith in York in 2019, the court heard. Hillier told the court she had confided in him in 2022 that she had been graphically raped by Mr. Smith and that together they decided to go down the vigilante route to seek justice. In a statement outside the court, Mr. Smith's family said he was innocent and he had been denied the chance to publicly clear his name. Sentencing the pair, Judge Maurice Green said whatever happened on the night appeared to be the underlying motive for the attack. He said, it was decided between you, you would execute your own vengeance. The two of you decided to act as judge, jury and executioner. He described the murder as brutal and cold-blooded. Addressing Fusto, a Leeds University graduate, the judge said it was almost incomprehensible that she had acted the way she had. He added, whatever happened between you and Liam Smith can never be justification for what you and Michael Hillier did. Cannabis dealer Hillier traveled from Sheffield to Wigan three weeks before the murder and carried out reconnaissance on Mr. Smith's address, the court heard. Hillier then went back to Sheffield before returning to the house on November 24. And waiting for 10 hours, in a car with fake number plates, armed with a shotgun. At about 6.40 pm, he lured Mr. Smith out of his house and shot him with a modified shotgun before pouring acid and soda crystals over him. The court was told. Hillier was arrested on suspicion of murder in January 2023 and Fusto in February 2023. Fusto claimed she knew nothing of the attack until Hillier arrived at her house in Andrew Drive, York, and was petrified to go to the police. The court heard that in the days after the killing the couple went on holiday to Jamaica together. The pair were given life sentences with minimum terms of more than 30 years. Hillier was found guilty of murder and sentenced to 33 years in prison and Fusto was found guilty of murder and perverting the course of justice. She was sentenced to 30 years. In a statement read to the court, Mr. Smith's mother, Julia, said he was a devoted father to his sons, aged 11 and 14, and a gentleman. She told the court, we are never going to be able to fill this massive void which has been left in our lives. Louise Blackwell KC, mitigating for Hillier, said he would not have carried out the attack were it not for his drug addiction and the influence of Fusto. She said, of course. Mr. Hillier took the lead role in the sense that he went and he was the person who carried out the acts, but it was under pressure from Fusto. Dead Chief Inns Gina Brennan of Greater Manchester Police said, My thoughts and the thoughts of the investigation team will always remain with Liam's family. They will never ever get over this tragedy, nor should they be expected to, and the actions of Michael and Rachel were nothing short of despicable. On the night of Liam's murder, police and other emergency services were working incredibly hard to try and ascertain the facts. It was unclear what had happened to Liam that night and it was very concerning for local residents.